Hey guys, and welcome to The Desk. This is where I write scripts, edit videos, and stuff like that. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in over a month now, and I do apologize for that, but I've been busy with uh, band camp and school starting. Um, uh, I'll try to get back into making videos. Hopefully I can make uh, two to three a month, um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but in the time, uh, in the past couple of weeks, um, I have been taking the Flynn Scientific Safety Course, um, which is a uh, seven-hour safety course for science instructors, um, but I found it to be very useful um, in providing some safety guidelines and information. Um, uh, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why you should take this course, even if you're an experienced chemist and um, you've your experience with lab safety. Um, so there are two options for taking this course. You can uh, just watch individual videos, um, and this is a good option if you uh, maybe don't have seven hours to spend on a safety course, and maybe you know most of the information, but there are some small things that you still need to learn. Um, so that's that option. The other option is the certificate course, um, which is a, the full seven hour course with assessments and a bunch of notes, as, as you can see here. Uh, they have notes for every section, and yeah, there are a lot. Um, but this course is great. Um, you get a certificate at the end, hence the name of the, the name, certificate course. And the certificate is awesome. It has your actual name on it. What? Anyway, um, if you are considering uh, taking the Flint Scientific Safety course, I would suggest the certificate course. Um, over over just watching individual videos, mainly because um, the assessments and notes help to reinforce the important information and really summarize the information. Uh, some of the videos are 30 minutes long, but only have like one page of notes, so there's not... Watching the video is not going to summarize the important information, and it's better to have notes and assessments with you. I would also recommend you take the full course uh, simply because there are a lot of minuscule details that you think wouldn't make a big difference, but actually if you uh, failed to follow them or abide by them, you could be seriously injured or even killed. Um, in fact, in one of the videos, uh, Mr. Flynn actually pointed out that um, something as simple as using the wrong test tube brush could severely injure you. Um, and I'm not even kidding, that was, um, he actually demonstrated how uh, using a test tube brush improperly or using a uh, improperly designed brush uh, can severely injure you. So after watching the safety course, um, you'll probably see a lot, uh, a lot of my future videos on lab safety, uh, particularly the information um, that was covered in the course. Um, I'll also be showing uh, some cheaper ways uh, of acquiring and maybe uh, designing some safety apparatus that are usually expensive, things like uh, chemical safety showers and eye washes and fire blankets that would normally be very expensive. I'll try to work on uh, building them and telling you guys how to build them uh, for a lot cheaper. I do want to get the disclaimer out of the way though. Uh, most of the information I'll, I'll share with you will be based on the Flint Scientific Safety Course and I do not claim ownership of any of the ideas. It is uh, the all the ideas that I will share with you um, came from the safety course, um, so I'm not, like, plagiarizing them or anything. You good? I'm not going to include this part in the video, hopefully. This is really weird. Speaking of future videos, um, I got a new camera, and it's filming right now, so I can't really show it to you. Um, I'll probably put a picture in, like, I'll take a picture with my other camera and put it in right now, or now. Now? Okay, good. All right. So even though I have a new camera, the next few videos will be filmed with my old camera, which is right here. Um, and that's just because um, they were videos that I filmed like a couple weeks ago and just haven't gotten around to editing. But I'm really loving this new camera. Um, it is really good at distinguishing colors. Um, this camera apparently, as you'll see in one of my upcoming videos, can't tell the difference between blue and green. Um, the camera that I'm filming with right now actually can do that. 
Um, another thing that I really like about this camera is that it's a lot easier to do jump cuts.